correct the mistake in the following statement. Booney was telling his friend Skinny that the deltoid muscle lies on the thigh region of a leg. What's incorrect in that statement? Team D, you buzzed in. What's your answer? The mistake was the deltoid muscle lies near the shoulder region. We've got a correct answer. Two points for Team D. Well done. Each box represents a letter. Unravel the word using these three clues. Your clues. In plants, it's a form of asexual reproduction. Seven letter word. It is able to produce large amounts of offspring in a short period of time. Dolly, the sheep, was a result of this technology. I see some fingers very close to the buzzer, but no minus points we want to try. <coughs> Team A, what's your answer? Cloning. Cloning. Cloning is the answer we want. Thank you, Team A. <laughs> there are five numbers, P, Q, R, S, and T. The following statements about the numbers are correct. Statement one. S is bigger than T. Statement 2. Q is smaller than R but larger than P. Statement 3. P is bigger than T. Statement 4. R is less than S. Your challenge. Arrange the numbers in the increasing order. Once again, not easy. They're up on stage like this, I know. But this is what Mighty Minds is all about. <coughs> Team D, your answer please. Loud and clear into the microphone. T, P, Q, R, S. We have a correct answer. Congratulations, Team D, player number one. It's T, P, Q, R, S. T, P, Q, R, S. Mr. Ventricle and Mrs. Atrium had a fierce discussion about the heart sound. Mr. Ventricle said the heart sounded pop pop, while Mrs. Atrium argued that it sounded bang bong. Mr. Hart stepped in and described it correctly. State the heart sound described by Mr. Hart. <coughs> Team D, what's your answer? Doop doop. Doop doop. It's a pass. Ooh. My heart's beating very fast. Any other team wants to try? Team A? Dup dup. The judge gives that a pass, okay. And that's it. We're going to close the question. The answer on your screen is lap dup, 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 lap dup. It is celebrated every year on June 5th. India is the host this year. Team B. The Commonwealth Games. India hosted the Commonwealth Games last year. That's not the answer we want. Your question. Its aim is towards protecting or restoring the world's natural heritage. Name this event. See some information there. India is a host this year. Aim is towards protecting or restoring the world's natural heritage. Team E, what's your answer? World Environmental Day. We have a correct answer. Team E gets two points. A cargo plane can travel at a maximum speed of 500 kilometers an hour. Its speed increases proportionally with decrease in mass. At the full load of 2,000 kilograms, it travels at 500 kilometers an hour. At a load of 1,000 kilograms, what would its speed be? We have a response. Team E, what's your answer? 1,000 km per hour. 1,000 km per hour. Not the answer we want. Team A, your answer? 500 km per hour. We have a correct answer. Team A, two points for you. 500 km per hour. Brian underwent surgery to implant a pacemaker to correct his faulty organ. After the surgery, the organ was restored to normal systole and diastole function. 
Which organ of brine was faulty? <coughs> Timmy, first of all, your answer. The heart. The heart is the correct answer. Two points for Team E. <laughs> Daffy Duck had a mission. He wanted to climb eight of the world's ten highest mountain peaks. To do so, he only needed one country. Team D, what's the question and what's the answer? Nepal. And well done. Nepal is the answer. So we got two points for Team C. Eh? For Team D, sorry, apologies. Recently, the Chinese Premier visited Malaysia to boost bilateral ties and cooperation between the two countries. One of his agenda was to sign agreements on the mutual recognition of higher education. Current affairs question for you. Name the Chinese Premier, Team D, your answer. Wen Jiabao. We have a correct answer. Congratulations, Team D. Wen Jiabao. Okay. Well done, Sabah. Both rounds have been completed. Now all we have to do is just wait for the results. Well, I think the challenge was a true test of my team skills. Uh, of course, our team can win. We have to have our own confidence if we were to win. I think I can win because I'm well prepared. I think the hands-on was really, really challenging because um, it took some time to like decipher the concept of the newspaper conveyor and yeah, that was really hard. I hope my team can win, hopefully. Third place, going to SMK Tamparule. Very important announcement because the team that's not called out now is going to be champion. Second place, RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge Sabah going to SM All Saints. SM All Saints on 49.67 points. RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge Sabah champion lower secondary going to SM Sign Sabah with a score of 50.83. 50.83. Third place, 49.33 points going to SM All Saints Team 2. Runners up, RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge going to SMK St. Francis Convent Team 2. <laughs> Got a lot of hollering out there and I know why. How very interesting, two teams, two teams and they also have two teams there. Because, I know why all that hollering went by, because we have a double champion from the same school, lower secondary champion, upper secondary champion, RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge, going to SM Science Sabah. Give them a round of applause indeed, the school being champion on both occasions. managed to get second place and I think that we all are really really happy with the result. Yes, the result is fair because my team lost in the way they are slow in action in praising the puzzle. Sadly, uh, we did not win but we got first runner-up which is quite good but I'm quite disappointed with that. I hope we got first. I mean, who wouldn't want to? My student, the low form, they win number two. Okay, I, I was quite happy with the result. Well, it's actually quite fair because I think that they lost a bit in, in terms of the quizzes part. They are quite slow in the quizzes part, but they did quite well throughout the whole competition in the challenge. 
this challenge is really, really tough for my student because from the question that I see, I saw just now, some of those questions is not even in the lower form syllabus, but yet they're still able to struggle and answer the question so well. It's really tough for them, but it's really, really good and challenging. Uh, my student get the first place for the both category, uh, upper and lower secondary. Uh, I am very proud because this is the second time I will be the teacher in charge and I am very happy to go to Kuala Lumpur again to the national level. Okay, Ba, we have found the mightiest minds of Sabah and we will see them in KL real soon for the finals. Congratulations! Alright guys, do not forget to tune in to the next episode of RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge as we continue our search for the mightiest minds of Malaysia. I'm Hani Madhu and I'll see you guys real soon. This program was brought to you by RHB and The Star.